ドラーズワースオブビトコイン S シスター Um, I wonder how my crypto portfolio is doing I am sure my Bitcoin, Ethereum and Luna are holding well Let's see Ah,、uh, markets aren't looking too good but we can recover, maybe Seize on the computer by 10 dollars worth of Luna Um, where did Luna go? No, really, where is it? Let me do a search No This can't be real Oh no 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 <laughs> Hello, fellow eternal pours. Today I'm gonna talk about some gods in Toho. They have robbed me and made me sad, so I wanna expose them to you guys so you guys can harass and bully them. The gods in question are Yuragami Shien and her little sister, Yuragami Juun. A brief summary they are greedy, evil, and no one really likes them. Everybody hates them. One reeks of cat urine mixed with skunk juice. Another just robs you and buys Gucci products and flexes on you, like some kind of douche tuber. The first of the sisters is Shein. Shein is the goddess of poverty. Her ability is to bring bad luck to everyone around her, including herself. With this horrible luck, everyone could lose their money to a fire, have them step on dog shit, or something like that. And that's it. That's her entire ability. There are no upsides. No one wants to talk to her, even her sister doesn't want to talk to her at some point. Everyone doesn't want to catch her bad luck, and Aaron hates her. She is submissive because everyone hates her and everyone talks shit behind her back. She has been eternally sad until she met a special someone who we will be talking about later. Let's talk about Shein's drip. So, firstly, she has a blue bow. She probably stole it from Reinu and painted it blue. I don't know. She wears a simple gray hoodie that looks like something you'll find at a first store. Like, she probably found it near the boundary that separates k i n s o k y o and the real world, and didn't bother washing it. Also, she is flat. Pretty much all of her clothing is covered in bills and eviction notices to emphasize on her bad luck. It solidifies my theory that she doesn't wash her hoodie. She also craves a black cat doll. Wait, give the doll to Shein. The fabric on her skirt is so thin that it's actually translucent. You can see her legs and stuff. Knowing how poor she is, She probably isn't even wearing panties. Disgusting and vulgar. Also, ass. She also isn't really wearing any shoes, so if you're into that, then rejoice. Be happy. Oh, and with bad luck, she probably steps on shit with her bare foot. She probably won't even bother cleaning her feet. In fact, she won't even bother taking a bath or even a shower. She is a certified stinky toho. She deserves a 0 out of 10 on the drip meter. Sorry, not sorry. I could have given her a one if she took a bath. The younger sister is June. I honestly don't know how to pronounce her name. Is it June? Is it June? Or is it June? I am going to call her June to make some people angry. June is a pestilence goddess. I know that's a big word for some of you, even I had to start it up. To put it into simple terms, her ability is to make everyone near her spend money. She would make everyone go to the latest shitcoin craze and make them buy whatever come dog rocket moon token coin it is. But hey, her ability makes everyone spend their money impulsively on things they really should be buying. She actually uses her power for evil and uses it to swindle and scam people for their money. So she could be making some kind of shitcoin and convince everyone around her to buy it because their financial IQ has been reduced to zero. Like she, and it seems that she is also affected by her own power. In official works, she is throwing away money, expensive jewels, and other valuables. But the thing is, she is poor and constantly complains about being poor while throwing away all these money. She is the t o l l equivalent of those internet judges who would take loans to buy expensive stuff so they can show everyone on the internet how rich they are when they are not. You can see that she is quite a brat. So let's talk about June's trip. She wears a tiny top hat. Very cute. She has pretty cool shades. She wears gems and gold stuff everywhere. Purple coat. I bet that was very expensive. Light pink dress. Plain, simple, and cute. Handbag from a very popular brand. And like her sister, she wears boots. Her drip is bussin'. And I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10 on the drip meter. 
No questions asked, no hesitations. Mm. Um, June's clothing and bag are off-brand. Wait, so you're saying a bunch of Chinese kids made June's clothing? Dear fucking god. I am going to have to knock June's score down to 0 out of 10 on the drip meter. So enough of character introductions. Let's talk about the story, the lore, behind the sisters. So, an antinomy of common flowers, a filthy flying Toho game, which no one really liked. The sisters created an incident called Perfect Possession. Basically, this makes some Toho girls get possessed by other girls. The possessed would fight the baddies while the puss is see would just sit back and watch. This is just like a one-stream gear, having that one gear backseat game him, telling him where to go and what to play and how to play it. They started this incident by spreading some rumors. How did spreading rumors start an incident where people can possess each other? That's probably for another video. The urban legends lore is quite an ass poll and it's not the focus of this video. The perfect possession made the Yorigami sisters invincible. They were on top of the world, they would commit day robberies and theft and other evil things. No one can beat them, no one can touch them, and if they catch a glimpse of you, they are taking all your money and all your valuables. How are they so strong, you ask? Let me lighten you. Whenever someone challenges the sisters, they would do a funny spell card and do... Little switcher you. They would switch pussy C's, so Xi'an would go to their opponents and their opponents pussy C would go to Juin. Xi'an is pretty much dead weight and would bring misfortune to their opponents. And Jun would easily beat them up. No one could beat them until Yukari and Rimi kicked their asses, of course. You created some boundary bullshit to have it so Remy and Sheehan would fight. And we all know Sheehan's a walking pile of useless shit and Remy has beaten up the majority of Ginsokyo, so Remy just beats a Sheehan. After the incident, Sheehan and Tenshi met up somehow. Tenshi is celestial, someone who has ascended Earth and is pretty much overpowered. Their bones are strong as steel, they can't get sick. And most importantly for Sheehan, they have immeasurable luck. Tenshi's high luck doesn't remove Xi'an's bad luck, but... Xi'an is still tied to Tenshi. Xi'an looks so happy and gleeful when she is near Tenshi, and cares so much about Tenshi. You can call her a Tenshi stan or simp, whatever the fuck you kids are using nowadays. Xi'an is attached to Tenshi, because... She is unaffected by her bad luck, and she means Tenshi could bring her happiness. Ahim, ahim. She got forced into the Mirren Temple, so she could be disciplined. She turned into a slightly better person after training under the monk lifestyle. She now only steals from people who could afford to lose money. So now she stops robbing poor people and now robs rich people. She's still a shitty and greedy person, but I guess she's better. The main premise of this game is that all randomly came out of the ground. The sisters know the value of oil and decided to head to former hell to get a fuckload of oil and be rich. While they're down there, they pretended to be rich, because that's what poor people do. Xi'an introduced herself as poverty god turned billionaire god. Jun, pestilence god turned into all barren. They are definitely delusional. They went through former hell and beat everyone they see, until they found the source of the oil and found a goat with a comically large spoon digging it up. So they used their friendship and sisterhood to beat up the goat with a comically large spoon. Then the goat was like, this wasn't oil, it was cum all along. And then the Yorigami sisters was so disgusted that they ran up all the way to the surface and pretend nothing ever happened. They continued robbing and swindling people as if it was all a dream. Unbelievable. Their clothes changed from the previous game. Xi'an still wears a blue ribbon, still has her black cat doll, still have bills and eviction notices on her clothes. She now wears a one-piece white dress with patchet, and you can see ass. Jun now wears a new very cute hat, still have loads of jewelry, also wears a white dress and matches with Xi'an. Hans is pretty cute how they wear matching clothes and how simple their design is. In this game, it seems like their relationship got way better. In the previous game, Jun would bully the shit out of Xi'an. Here, she is using more respective language, and it seems like she cares about Xi'an. The scene is pretty cute. The goat calls them eternal poors, and then Xi'an got angry, and Jun's sprite was pretty cute. But yeah, it's cute how their relationship changed over the games, and now they are best buddies. That is the end of this Toho lore feature, or whatever you want to call this. 
Please like and subscribe and share this video to your friends so you can find and harass the Yorigami sisters, and I can get my cryptocurrencies back. No really, we're gonna find where they lavantate back what they stole from me. I hate them so much. Like honestly, fuck them.